Do you want to go first on what you're thankful for? Yeah, you know what? I will. Okay. So I'm thankful for my pets, Aww. my little critters, just because I feel like they're, you know, they're sort of the the beings that I love going home to. They always make me feel special and loved. You know, I love that Rango keeps me active and he's so funny. Everything he does, no matter how awful it is, like he was like gagging and almost puking <laughs> earlier and I was like, oh, you're so cute, you little idiot. <laughs> I would dare say anything that comes out of his body is adorable to you. I don't <laughs> yeah. get it quite. <laughs> Not quite, but you know. But I see that it's true. Right. I don't understand why. <laughs> right. But like... I love taking him for walks and just seeing his little butt because his butt is so cute and funny. I don't know why it just cracks me up, you know? And then I've got my two little idiot cats that are just so dumb and so sweet and I love them so much. You've got Leo. Yeah, who just is such a cuddle bug. You know, my, he's orange and white. He is. He's and a big fat orange tabby. He's yeah. basically Garfield. He's a Chubba Lumpkins. He is. And then you have a little skinny Stilton. <laughs> I do. Coco, who's my favorite. I know. You love her so much. And they both just do so many things that just crack me up and bring me so much joy. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, and I love that Leo's such a little cuddle bug too. And I love that Coco's a secret cuddle bug. She is. You yeah. Know? She you got to know how to get to her. Right. She won't. Food. <laughs> mainly. She won't just give it to you though. She'll like wait until it's the most inconvenient for you. And then she'll be like, hi, I'm finally gracing you with my presence. Here yes. you go. She's a bit of a diva. <laughs> She's such a diva and she? I love it. Yeah. And I love it about her. I do. Yeah. Yeah. They're just great little creatures and they make me really happy and they make me laugh all the time. So we we were hanging out together for a year, uh -huh. a full year before Coco and I shared it. We had a shared moment <laughs> where she looked up at me and was like, oh, you're okay. She's so funny. And you know, now she's gotten into this habit where every time she hears my alarm go off, she'll jump on the bed and like meow meow and ask for kitty, like kitty loves and like pets and stuff. And it's so you're a, annoying. You're a captive audience. <laughs> well, yeah. It's so annoying because either I have to get out of bed immediately and you're slowing me down, or I've set that alarm intentionally early so I can wake Some up slow. Some snooze. Exactly. <laughs> and here you are forcing me to wake up fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. But I'm grateful to her for that too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm grateful for modern plumbing. Oh, that's a good one. And I just... I. Uh, it's the thing that separates us from the animals. It is. There was a, uh, I think it was a news article or a meme or something this week or two weeks ago about how, you know how the royal court would travel from palace to palace in Europe? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just, you'd summer in France and then you'd mm -hmm. winter in eh, wherever. Yeah. That wasn't the only reason that they uh, switched palaces. A big, in fact, huge reason was all of the defecation started to pile up. Oh, jeez. Gross. Super gross. I hope you're not making Thanksgiving dinner listening to this. 